Nation! Welcome! Miss Rebecca's with me. We are going to do kind of an unboxing video today, except we kind of already know what's in it. And the real reason that I want to show you all this is because of the cool tape that's on the box. And then it's kind of a shocker of what's inside of it. Um, what we are unboxing today is a thin box. Now, I know what's in this box, but there's kind of some cool content that is within said box. Um, the first thing that I want to show you is how cool this box is with the tape. And it kind of gives away of what's inside of it. So if you look, that is just some cool shipping tape of good old Usagi Ojimbo. Now, Usagi Ojimbo is probably best known for... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yes. He was a character in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What a lot of people do not realize is that he was a creation way, way before Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, there is a cartoonist, um, and I'm going to butcher the dude's name. We're going to get ripped a whole lot. But his name is Stan Sakai, I think is his name, but I don't know. S-A-K-A-I? Sakai. 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 He's just Stan. Sakai. But he is the one that created Usagi Ojimbo. So back in the days of the Turtles, a lot of cool things they were throwing in there and just so happens to be a ninja rabbit, it kind of falls into place. So what this is not going to be is a history or a video that is, you know, just totally on like an Usagi figure or an Usagi anything. But the cool thing is, is that we all know Usagi. I'm getting after it. From what? Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He was a, he was a, uh, uh, he was a, on the cartoon, he was an action figure. He had a lot of the stuff. Look, my name's on it. Aww, I, was, I was number 46. But what happened was, is on Stan's uh, Facebook page, which if you were not a part of, which I'm ripping the bad tape here. This is terrible. I mean, just look, it's cool. It's cool. So um, on his page, as with everything during this pandemic... Comic book shops, comic creators, everybody that are having comic content are just like everybody else and they're hanging on like a hair on a biscuit. So what Stan did is something that's kind of cool in these books because you asked me why would I buy Usagi books, which we're going to get a lot to in this channel, especially that I like a lot of what? You don't know me very well. I, you like a lot of... Um... Uh... Weird things. Weird characters. Characters. I like weird characters. Um, I've always, like, my favorite Marvel character is Moon Knight. My second favorite character is... Gambit. You like Gambit? He's not my second. Uh, is... Uh... Nova. Nova. Oh. oh. I know. I knew that. I did know that. We know each other so well. I did know that. I promise. Yeah. This is going to be I did. Great. So, so my favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle was... Leon... Your, your favorite Ninja Turtle? Yes. Leonardo. Was not. <laughs> it was Donatello. It was Don the purple guy. Is Donatello... See, it, see what we're working with here? This, is the purple guy Donatello? I can't wait for this. Is stuff. it? We'll talk about that another time. Is the purple guy your favorite? The purple guy is my favorite. Uh, yeah. I just but what's his name? Leonardo is blue. Donatello is purple. Oh, I have to say the colors. <laughs> so, five minutes into this video and we are um, still don't know what we're doing. So, great packaging. So, we digressed a little bit there. Um, what we are, the reason why I bought this is, and I am normally, from anybody that knows me from the past, what do I like a lot of? A good... Deal. A good deal. Got one. Um, I have, back in previous life, uh, before you were around, a lot of people would think I lied a lot about the deals that I would get and how I would go to yard sales and how I would buy this stuff. And no, you... It's, it's you a can, get, you like, can get a deal. Like, there was an Omega Supreme once that I bought... Um, 
at a yard sale. I think the guy wanted $10 for it. Um, in the box, complete, which at the time, that was at least a $100 Purchase. thing. Um, but I talked him down, I think, to five, I think, because... Yeah. He, he, my mom taught me one thing, and I don't go as much as my mom does. My mom finds a whole lot of good stuff, but I, yeah. I I won't pay a full price for anything. But anyway, so on his website, he was offering up trades. And what I've learned in my comic book days is that I love a good trade because it's, for those of you that don't know what a trade paperback is, it is almost like Netflix. It was like Netflix before Netflix was cool because back in the day, if you bought a trade, you could read, you know, four or five issues yeah. at a time. So it's like Netflix. You can watch the whole season. Bad part about that is unlike Netflix, you had to wait till the run was done. Now, the cool thing when I grew up, there was no internet, so it didn't really get too much. But the real reason why is because, A, we're in this pandemic. Uh-oh. I dropped the thing. You get that? Here, I'm yeah. going to kick it over. There you go. Okay. Um, but during this pandemic, I was I was needing some stuff to read. So I got Usagi Yojimbo Book 2. And then I got Usagi Yojimbo Book 3. I love it. Uh, pretty much, if you all are unfamiliar, and this was in there, which is kind of cool. It's a finger puppet. Cut along the dotted lines, and you can have a finger puppet which I can promise you I'll be doing this later. <laughs> but um, obviously I could have got these on eBay for a whole lot cheaper, which again, I like a good deal. But uh, Stan was doing something cool that, how cool is that? Yeah. You didn't know they did that, did you? No. So inside of every purchase from his website, if you open it up, you got a hand-drawn Usagi Yojimbo and an autograph, which is kind of cool. So this book now has a pinned original drawing by the author and creator. And then there's, which is kind of cool because I thought it would be maybe the same thing. It's not. This makes me want to buy more. <laughs> now it's kind of a different uh, drawing of him just in a Sharpie. So two books from the author. Kind of cool to have those drawings in there, isn't it? What do you think? I like it. Just by looking at that, though, can you can you tell me what Usagi's about? He is a ninja. He is warrior. He is who fights in battle against other ninja bad animals. It is essentially yeah a story of. Old Japan. Yes. Were warriors and samurais and all that. And except without humans, they just he just turned them all into uh, animals. Yes. Kind of like cool. that looks like Rock Steady. Good job. <laughs> except Rock Steady's a rhino. It looks like Bebop. That's a Bebop. <laughs> but that does look like a, a rhino. But anyway, we just thought we'd share kind of this unboxing. I can't wait to dive into them, but it truly is cool. So Kind of the moral of the story is, go to the author and see what some of these guys are doing. Because I know some of these creators of these books are actually doing autograph signings for almost literally nothing compared to what you would get at a comic convention. So, can't wait to read them. Will you read them? Yes. No, she won't. I will. Peace out, home skillets. Have fun.